Yeah. Uh, Dr. Gonzo is going to remove your stitches for, for you today. All right. Yeah. You're okay if we video and share this on YouTube and the whole world on the internet? Yes, I am. It'll be good for you. You'll be able to see it too. We're gonna. That's how we're gonna repay you. We're gonna allow you to watch your own video. Oh, right. <laughs> what a treat, huh? That's fantastic. And I think we're gonna give him a courtesy 30-day supply of Meta Seven. I agree with you. Okay, so you're gonna get something out of this deal. Excellent, thank you. Um, Besides the outstanding care. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go right here. Oh. Don't scream. This happened. Uh, you were telling us about uh, 10, 11 days ago. Yes. On a table saw. Sorry. Get that one. I'm enjoying my new role as camera person. Yeah, it makes my day kind of interesting. I've always wanted to be kind of a director, not a producer, a director. I think mm -hmm. I'd be a good director, Gonzo. That's good Maybe. to have something to fall back on in case the doctrine doesn't work yeah, out. That's true. You always got to keep those options open. Gonzo uh, juggles, so she could always work, you know, for a small circus somewhere. Is that right? Yeah, mm -hmm. she's, uh, yeah. hey, and she's also I... really good at guessing people's weight. Okay, so this is weird. Is it weird? Mm-hmm. Okay, you may want to snip those before you try to cut them out. Well, no, because it's right here. Look, I snipped it from right there. If you need me to jump in, you just say the word. So, no. hey, Gonzo hey, uh, Gas. Got Say, hey, Doc, I can't handle this. is too complicated. How I need you to do it. No such thing. You okay? Yeah. She did watch a video yesterday on how to remove stitches, so you should be okay. Oh, we didn't give yeah. him a nickname, Gonzo. We're gonna, should we call him Woody? Since he was cutting wood on a table saw? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to call you Woody. <laughs> All right. All right, Woody, if she hurts you or starts hurting herself, then you tell me, okay? All right. And I'll whack her in the back of the head. and We're not going to stop her from injuring you of course <laughs> just keep it just be an opportunity to hit to you know to strike gonzo okay just because gonzo's been threatening you to throw at my hush you've shoot. been threatening to throw a shoe at me all day she's been really snarky today she What's told it? me that uh, when she snarky. turned 18 she kind of uh, became a mean person she so. is she's tough i'm telling you let me know if this hurts i'm sorry i'm really not trying to hurt you here you okay? Yes. You know what? I don't think I can see very well. What seems to be the problem there? Okay. It cut it. Oh, it's diff you might be able to untie that stitch. <laughs> Did you finish your project? Yes. You know, there is a device. I saw a really interesting uh, video about a, a device a fellow has invented that the second, I mean the absolute second, you touch a spinning saw blade, it stops it. There is, uh, I did, there's an actual saw that does that. Uh, they've tried it with like hot dogs and things they'll put in uh -huh. there, and it will not cut your finger. Yeah, this fellow did it with his own hand. I mean, he tested it by touching, reaching down to touch, and it wow. did not cut his, his finger. It was that fast, it was pretty yes. amazing. Yes. I'm sure it would be super expensive and probably be out of reach for, you know, those of us who are the average woodworkers. Right. And I count myself among those. Well, you know, you hear all the time about being careful. Yeah. And, and I really job. was very careful. Yeah. But you get that kickback. It just happens. Th that's the problem is, yeah. you know, when people say be careful, you don't really relate. What does that mean? I keep right. my hands back. But I Accidents had my hands yeah. close to it, but it was when the kickback... It Gonzo, actually moved job. my finger into the, yeah, the saw. Kicked it into the saw, yeah. Yeah. We had something, just a terrible tragedy that happened related to our house. We had all that rain, and <clears throat> the uh, we have a little pool and a heater, and, and the heater was ruined by all the rain, so we had a gentleman come out and replace done. whatever was bad with the heater, right? Gonzo got it. Gonzo got, got it. it there was five of them? Yeah, look. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I, I'm counting five. That okay. looks real good. We're going to want to just put a dressing over that. We don't need stereo strips, Lagonza. Good work. Anyway, so so this gentleman, he replaced it, and right after he left, we had some kind of problem with it, so the DW, my darling wife, calls him, and she's on the phone with him, and he says, oh, no, I'm going to have to call you back. Well, that's all we got. Well, it turns out he was looking at a, a John Deere Gator, and he got his finger caught in the chain or tore his finger off. Right when she was on the phone with him. Just shockingly horrible. He came back the other day and he didn't have a finger. 
Wow. And so he said, he told her he thought it was kind of her fault, you know, partially. And then she reminded him that he shouldn't be working with heavy equipment, you know, and being on the phone distracted at the same time. Leave, leave it to the uh, DW. The DW, yeah. Yes. Yeah, the DW. Mine is that's, the... That's an interesting uh, dressing choice there. <laughs> I don't want to work on that a little bit. I'm getting another one. You're getting another one, okay. I'm just going to do like that, funky looking. Funky looking. It's, we're a funky team. We're a funky team. Okay, so... Well, Woody, uh, what have you got planning for the Memorial Weekend? Are you a race watcher? Uh, no, not too much. I sometimes watch a little bit of NASCAR, but I'm not much mm -hmm. of an idiot. He can stop flicking. Yeah, he's, it's not flicking, it's flipping. Flipping. Flipping the bird. Yeah. I call it the half-piece sign. You notice I didn't flip you. I waited till Dr. Gilmore came in. I flipped right. him off. Right, it was me. Yes. All right, man. Hey, Woody. Thanks for letting us video this. It was really fun. My pleasure. Have a great Memorial Weekend, even if you don't watch the race. High you know five. it's the 100th anniversary. Is that right? This is the 100th anniversary. Of the Indy. Of the Indy 500. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right? Five. Oh, again? Go ahead, sure. High five. All right. All right. All right, here we go. You okay? Yep. Did you have any pain? Uh, no. Just All a little right. sore, but that a little, little bit sore, and that was it. Looks like he healed pretty good there. I swear my dog knew something was off. Really? He kept like sniffing, because I even had a long sleeve shirt and he kept sniffing my arm. Really? <laughs> All right. You can scream if it hurts. He's not gonna Is scream. it supposed to hurt? No, it's yes. not gonna hurt. This one opened up a little bit over here. You must have gone to boot camp this morning. Your muscles are tired. No, actually, I already got in trouble for not be, not going as much as I've been going. Not last week, uh, no, I'll go tomorrow. Come uh, on. Tomorrow turns into... Yeah, that's no. Friday. That's right, yeah. No, I already told her. Come on. This thing does not want to get a grip on it. Okay, fine, I'll grab it. Seems to be the problem there. Why don't you grab the knot? I'm trying to. It won't let me... There it goes. There you go. I'm about to just use my fingers. <laughs> Don't do that. Why? Looks pretty good. Look. I want to put a little stereo strips on that, Gonzo. You want to do it? Yeah, if you show me how to do it. show you how to do it. So am I good to work out like normal? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're just going to give you a little extra support on that. We, the stitches need to come yeah. out today, but okay. what we want to do is just give you a little okay. extra. Do you want to pause it support. or are you going to keep it? We're waiting on a little Gonzo to come back. I'm going to get a close up. There's no hematoma. Now, you have some bruising around it. And that was from the way we aggressively got in there and, and pulled everything out and uh, uh, and so forth. But there's no hematoma. There's no swelling. Mm -hmm. That's normal bruising for the kind of procedure we had done. Plus, it looked like you you might have been. Oh, yeah, the, the tape, I think. There. The tape? Yeah. Yeah, no more damage to it. All right, let's get Gonzo back. Okay. And you remember how to do it, right? I've seen you do it. Okay, but... the first thing you do is you get the tincture of benzoin. There you go. The tincture of benzoin goes on first. And it's important that you don't get that in the wound because if you do, it's gonna hurt. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, you have to, yeah. I'm known to hurt people. There's a little kind of glass tube inside that and you break it. I gotta open this door. okay. See, if you would've gone to boot camp this morning, you would've been strong enough See, to get it See, but I can't chair. go to boot camp in the mornings because <laughs> she doesn't have in the mornings. Okay, so I just There you go, snap like that. Come on. There you go. Now turn it upside down. And then squeeze just it just here. a little bit. There you go. Just right here? Right there. Yeah. Right in there. And then do the same on the underside. Great. Same. That's it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Then All just right, use your hand it. to kind of waft it a little bit. There you are. And that'll dry it. Good. Now take those uh, stereo strips and cut them in half. Okay. It's like just going back to science class wafting. I know, right? A little gentle wafting. Perfect. Look at that cut. Precision gonzo cutting. He's trying to make me nervous. It's okay. Not really. You're doing good. You're doing just fine. And just remove this. And just put that across. Oh, yes. Oh, perfect. Look at that work. Then you can just sort of remove that. There you go. Haha. Uh -huh. 
Look at you go. Dang. Does that look professional or what? Sort that of. That is a great job. Sort of. Looks terrific. Nicely done. Yeah, too much. It's baby shouldn't, polaris. It shouldn't oh, hurt. Be gentle, okay. Please. I want to point out these are horizontal mattress sutures. These are really good kind of sutures for, for any kind of large wound because it takes the pressure off the edge of the wound and it actually makes it a little bit more challenging to remove them though, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. that's, that's very comforting. Isn't that comforting? And here we go, a little kind of pull there. Just oh, breathe. this is going to take some work on, so we may actually have to give her some rawhide to bite down on. Be nice. Oh, oh I'm just teasing with you, you know it. Actually, this is really dry now. Went from really wet to really dry, didn't you? Yes. Did it stop I, hurting? Um, yes, it did. Well, it's deep in there. Weird. I didn't think okay. It would. So you got a lot. You got. I'm sorry. You have a lot of scab on here. We're gonna stop, and we're gonna actually put some saline soaks on this, and see if we can soften up this scab, and make it easier to take these stitches out for you. Okay. See you in a few minutes. Okay. This is Polaris. Polaris, uh, this is Gumby on the camera here. Hi, Miss Polaris. Hello. Ask your question. I am ready, ready. Okay, so now that some of the swelling has gone down, yes, I see that there's a, a lump right here. Mm -hmm. Um, what? I don't know. It's nothing to worry about. That's a contusion, mm -hmm. and that will heal. How bad are you hurting right now? A little uh, bit tender, huh? Yeah, just a little, not too bad. And we're just trying to loosen up some of this dried scab material. You've been soaking now for about 20 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay, now question number two. I mm -hmm. had a trip planned mm -hmm. uh, with air flight. Mm -hmm. Do you think with all of this being uh, swollen, mm -hmm. you think it would be okay for me to fly? Well, it depends, where are you going? Portland. Oregon? Oh yeah, that's not exciting. If it was something fun, we'd say no. But Portland, <laughs> yeah, you can. Oregon or Maine? Oregon. Yeah, you can go to Portland. That plane's mostly empty anyway, I think, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry people in Portland, I I'm just kidding. Portland's a beautiful city, uh, very diverse, uh, eclectic population of beautiful people. Okay, I'm going to down because I'm not watching So what this. happened here? Oh, Polaris, tell her the story. Oh gosh, okay, so um, we were on a, I guess it's like a four-wheel ATV. Did you see that? A Polaris. Okay. Yeah, it was a side-by-side, -side, wasn't it? Yes, a bigger side-by-side. Side. Mm -hmm. And we were going through Cypress Creek, uh -huh. and we hit a spot that was a little too deep. And we tipped over. Mm -hmm. And when I got up, I had a big uh, cut. Let's call it a leg. gash. It yeah. was a gash, wasn't it? Yes, big gash in my leg, blood yeah. streaming down. Uh, yeah. I you guess. didn't pass out, did you? Uh uh. Okay, great. She also didn't look at it, did you? Uh, no. I wouldn't have either. No. We, we wrapped a. a t-shirt around it mm -hmm. on the top of my leg and mm -hmm. we uh oh sorry ow there it is right there i cut that one off so i got it okay. yeah these uh these are a little more difficult to get out when they've been in as long as this one part of the reason was because we sent you back the other day yes yeah so we i knew this was going to be a challenge when you came in when you came in the first time i said mm, it's going to be a tough one yeah. So I'm just taking it slow. That's why we did all the, put the uh, uh, saline on here to kind of soften up the scab so that we could work around it a little bit. Mm. Yeah, this is a pretty significant gash. And I know that's a little bit tender there and I apologize, but I've got to kind of work some of that scab out of the way so I can get to uh, the stitch to cut. Oh. Yeah. That's lovely. That's exciting, isn't it? Gumby, what have you been up to lately? We haven't talked to you in a little while. Oh, the lab has had me be... Seek with me, but yeah. I know where it is. It's right there. I know there's a stitch in there. Oh, you okay? 
Hang in there. If it hurts, you tell me. Okay. This is one of these situations where every doctor is like, oh, I don't want to dig and dig for something in here because it's going to hurt, but yet I know I've got to get that stitch out of there. Let's move to a different one. We'll come back to that in a minute. Maybe it'll heal itself, right? Maybe that stitch will jump out on its own. Hmm. I can help. These were put in really tightly because you had so much swelling and such a big gash. There you go. That's that one came out pretty easy. Uh, that uh, it's hard to pull them back out. That one came out well too. That's good. This one I hope will come out pretty easy. Right there it is. So yeah, I think you can take a trip, and you're still going to have some swelling for a while. It'll take a long time for all this swelling to heal, but it will. So okay. don't don't worry about it. You know, hey, there's more going on here, and why isn't this healing, and those kinds of things. These things just take a while to heal sometimes. Okay. You're doing oh. good, mom. Did you feel a little sting that time? Yes. I'll go to a different one for a moment. There it is. We can blunt that one just fine. We are down to two. Okay. All right. Yeah. Isn't that good? Sometimes I think it'd be easier to just untie them. Aha! Got that one out good. One more? You got a little bleeding there. Yeah, one more. We just have one more. Yeah, that was a deep one. See that one? I pulled yes. that stitch out, it bled. Ouch. Are you okay, honey? Yeah. Are you okay, no, Polar? Just... You're doing good. All right. I think we're all good. We're going to put some Steri strips on this for you. I know we have one more in here. Mm -hmm. I can feel it. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. We're good over there. So we have one more hiding right in here. And I just felt it right there. Either that or it's a hair. Okay. Well, there was nine stitches. Did you pull out nine? Well, now that information would have been helpful <laughs> at the beginning. Yeah, we've got some Escar here. Escar is basically just some some dried up dead skin that's that's covering that stitch is in there. I know it is. I will not be defeated by this stitch. What do you think, Gumby? What are the odds now? What's Vegas saying on How this many last did stitch? You pull out? Twelve. This reminds me of hunting for a toothpick that we did last week. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. We had a fellow came in last week. He had a toothpick that had been in his leg five years. Oh, Ooh, looky great. there. It we is right it. there. We found what we were hunting. Thank God. So now you are Don't stitch we? free. Oh, well, now God. we're done taking stitches out, yes, but I'm going to put some Steri strips on you. Okay. Okay? And this will give the wound a little extra strength and protection so that it doesn't open up. Now you've got eight Steri strips, but you don't have to keep track of those. Okay. So next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna put an Adaptec on there, which is a non-stick dressing. We'll do a little wrap for you and you're gonna be good to go. Okay. Polaris, do you have any other questions for us? Um, so I don't need to do anything with these. I just leave them on and mm -hmm. let them... Let them fall off when they're ready. They'll okay. give up and they'll let go of you when they're when they're finished doing their job, they know when. All you have to do is just keep this dry and covered. Don't put ointments on it like we talked okay. about. And uh, this will heal up just fine. Once it's completely healed, then you can start using the scar cream we gave you. Okay. Okay. And uh, how are you doing with pain medicines and stuff like that? Are you okay? Yeah. Do you love Dr. Gilmore's cyst bursting, pimple popping, and infection draining videos? 
Want to see the extended procedures with never before seen footage, early releases, and no ads? Then support us on Patreon for dozens of HD ad free videos. And don't worry, you can still watch on YouTube for free. But if you want the premium content with no ads, become a patron on Patreon. There's a link in the description. Hey folks, are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stack up on Meta7. Meta7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, according to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system. So if you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and could use a nice boost, then try Meta7 today. Meta7, I've got more energy. Uh, I feel good. I don't have any aches and pains like I usually have. And I notice just more energy with them. Since I spend more energy and more energetic, mm -hmm. I sleep better. So it's been a pretty good product for me. Notice a huge, tremendous energy boost. Before I was really sluggish. I didn't want to do anything, even my work. It showed it, but now since I've been on it, my work is getting completed. Check out the Amazon links in the description below. And you can order today with Amazon Prime.